We bought one of these snap circuit kits for my son and they've got all these parts in here and every once in a while we get something hooked up wrong and burn something out. And I will say what I'm about to do is going to void the warranty and you know the people at the at the company are really good about replacing stuff either very cheaply or free. And but you know sometimes you just want to do a radical hack on something, right? And so <laughs> Um, this uh, PNP transistor component got uh, cooked recently, and so I thought I would uh, I thought I would modify it a bit and do a little extreme mod on it. The first trick is to take these apart, and these people at Snap Circuits build them like forever, so they're not easy to get apart. They have these little finger catches on them, plastic finger catches, and they don't like to open up. Prying stuff around there causes this stuff to break. So I'm going to whittle a little bit off of there. Let me show you up close. This one I've already whittled down. You can see I left enough of there so that it'll still catch. And this one I'm still whittling on. You can see where I've cut it right there. So now with the whittling done, I'm able to put a small screwdriver in here and just pop it off of there. And again, I'm leaving enough so that when I put it back, it's going to snap in there. So I only had to whittle these two fingers and lift this up. And the other three over here, I just left alone and just popped this up like that and it slips out and there's my transistor and I just need to make sure that I get the connection the same as the original transistor. Here you can see what went wrong. Somebody got a short and you can see the plastics melted around the base of that transistor. So yeah, that's why we're replacing it. Something to be aware of when you're swapping out a transistor. This transistor is the pins underneath are emitter, base, collector. There's three pins underneath, and from left to right, it goes emitter, base, collector. This one, the one I'm going to substitute, is emitter, collector, base. So I've got to be careful to make sure I route the, the uh, correct wires to the correct contacts. So here it is in place. You can see I marked this collector, base, emitter, and then I marked this one, emitter, collector, base, across here so I wouldn't get them confused while I was doing it. And they're all soldered in place. Uh, just soldered the leads on there and again keeping keeping in mind that the old transistors leads were in a different order so I've uh, finished this up I'm going to put a little bit of epoxy in here to make sure the leads don't uh, short against each other as this transistor gets banged around and then I'll give it a test I've checked and rechecked my wiring I've got the epoxy in there it's relatively set uh, just snap it back into place and I need to clean it up a bit so why do I call this a radical hack slash modification well because this transistor is capable of handling about 10 watts and the old one was about 0.3 so what are we talking about 30 times more power so yeah but I'll put it in the circuit that I was originally trying to do and see if it works oh yeah that's annoying, but it does work. Okay, well, I hope you found it useful and interesting.